What's happening crypto world? What's happening blockchain lovers and of course the haters? Without you the haters we can't really do great magic happen, right? So yesterday was one of those days that haters were celebrating. Thank you SCC, but no thank you. Well at the same time, indeed actually, thank you SCC. We don't really need you, the, the crazy regulator, come and dictate us how an industry that has brought up without really fi your finger around and you dictate us what needs to be done. So SEC came guys rejecting the ProShares ETF application, electronically traded fund application and in total they actually rejected nine applications. There are still quite a few applications pending SEC decision making. Nonetheless, well, we saw what happened. Market had already discounted the, the SEC rejection. So we didn't really see much of movement. However, overall speaking, yesterday we saw the prices going up towards the 6,800 plus levels. And that going up part was majorly because of BitMEX going under technical maintenance. During the day, later on, BitMEX had a DDoS attack. So it also limited the possibility of further shortings in the market. So that also showed its uh, well overall impact to the pricing. The market really found itself a consolidation at 6,300, 6,400. Currently, the Bitcoin price is at around 6,400 level. Support has not changed from my yesterday's analysis. 6,270 and the resistance still remain at 6,800 level. However, iCoinSentiment.com sentiment analysis or sentiment signal has changed from bullish to neutral. Now, from the Ethereum perspective, the market is, has gone, of course, a little down, further down, we should say. The current market price is at 275, support is at 236, and my target has changed a little bit to 360. So why I have changed my opinion for, for these targets, by the way, is because of the fact that on a smaller time frame, I can see a potential head and shoulder now on Ether. So if you, if you take a, a look at the Ether from the neckline to the lowest low of the head, then you add it from the shoulder to the, to the basic, to make it right shoulder, that makes it $80 addition, so that makes from the current level more or less to, to go another uh, $80. So we are going to be going for $360, $363, that's also falling in line with my Fibonacci analysis as well. So I'm bullish at the moment for Ether, but let's see how the market is going to be going and rolling around. However, let's, let's add some additional points besides and over and beyond SEC and Bitcoin that there goes the B cash or Bitcoin cash so I'm pretty sure you know about the fake Satoshi I'm talking about Craig Wright right well Craig Wright is actually wrong but anyway so yesterday Craig Wright and Vitalik Buterin the, the founder of the Ethereum protocol uh, they, they basically came, uh, especially, well, Craig Wright has not really said anything towards uh, Vitalik, but Vitalik came, came and really first time since the Korea part that he counted and publicly said that Craig Wright is a fraud, he, he came and said that uh, Bcash fork trades from uh, Craig Wright is not really toleratable and Bitcoin Cash people should not be putting him towards a clash they just simply should be ignoring it and Craig Wright is going for Bitcoin uh, Craig so that the abbreviation that he's going for is BCC so those of you who are in the crypto world you know that BCC previously was being involved with uh, BitConnect that was a Ponzi scheme that re literally collapsed and hurt many people. So I do hope and I do join uh, Vitalik as well that Craig, you're fake Satoshi. You don't deserve to be having any kind of publicity. So, well, you probably deserve the right 
of PCC anyway. So you you deserve to to go on the Ponzi style, collapse and die. We don't need people like you in this world. Bitcoin, blockchain stands for trust, and you have lost your trust, my friend. We don't need people like you. Now. I want to do something a little different today as well. I have been thinking of inviting some of the upcoming ICOs that I like. And this is not a sponsored call or anything like that. So I have identified six, seven ICOs that I'm thinking of inviting. However, I'll be inviting one of them only. So I'll be mentioning the names of the ICOs and we will be making a small poll. So the biggest vote receiving party will get a free interview with me and I'll also probably invest with, uh, with that ICO myself if they convince me. So my intention hereby is to show you how you do a negotiation as a private investor for ICOs overall. So based on my, there are two of the ICOs that I'm advising, the four of the ICOs I have zero connection with and I'll be publicly mentioning which ones I have correlation or alignment with and which ones I have no alignment with at all. So BlockQuest is one of them. Uh, BlockQuest is investing into diverse uh, crypto portfolio. They basically provide a platform that you can go ahead and buy a portfolio instead of individual one, two, three crypto coins separately. I have no affiliation with uh, BlockQuest and however i like the idea let's see blockwest it's your time to go and ask your followers to vote for you if you get the biggest vote i may be interviewing you and i'm i'm considering investing with you as well next one is vivo network vivo network is peer-to-peer -peer mortgage uh, lending i again have zero affiliation and correlation with uh, vivo network however it sounds cool and it is because of the fact that I just recently tried to buy a property. The property that I am buying full cash is uh, on mortgage uh, from the seller and the bank is literally making my life uh, miserable at the moment. I hate banks from that perspective. They think that they own your money while you are the one who is trusting your money with banks. So peer-to-peer -peer mortgage lending sounds interesting for me. I would like to know how it is really working out. We want it work. Time to ask for your followers. Let's see if they if they really believe in you. Next is iCash. It's proof of trust protocol assuring validity of smart contract settlements. Again, it sounds amazing. I want to see how you are really working iCash. I again don't have any affiliation with iCash neither. It's your time iCash. Ask your followers to vote for you if you are really the one deserving to, to be interviewed and to be invested in. Now, another one that I actually am affiliated with, it is Coin Analyst from Frankfurt. Uh, Coin Analyst, they, they claim themselves as the Bloomberg of the crypto and ICO world. I know Pascal for a while, but nonetheless, me being affiliated does not have any conflict of interest. Pascal, it's your time to go and ask your followers to vote for you. I want to interview you and possibly invest extra in you to see how much you really are going to be adding value to the crypto world. Next is uh, Eon token. It's a protocol for decentralized games. I don't have any affiliation with Eon token or EOT. However, the, there is a very big demand for decentralized games. I still am convinced that there is a massive development opportunity out there and I really hope that you are delivering what you are promising. So Eon token, it is your time to go and ask your followers to, to vote for you. And last but not least, I am also considering the, to, to bring Grapevine for an interview. Grapevine is not in an ICO stage anymore. They finished it and they hit their hard cap. I was one of their advisors as well and also I donated with them too. However, I want to bring Grapevine. Martin, ask your followers to, to come and vote for you if you get the biggest vote. I want to bring you for an interview and perhaps we can arrange extra partnerships for you. I know you have got already massive partnerships out there, but nonetheless, nobody need, uh, can say no for extra publicity. 
Guys, this is it so far for today. I am going to be watching the Bitcoin market correlation and development. Oh, by the way, let me ask uh, or add one last point. For those of you who has been asking me about Naga yesterday, I, I got more than 100 different quotes and comments, questions on private to me directly on Skype, Telegram, on Facebook, on LinkedIn, Twitter, all coming directly.